well, hey, it's Eddie the expert from Edmonton, and we're going to handle your cock. We're going to talk about handlebars and stuff. Proper cockpit setup is easy if you know what to look for. Today I'll go over a few tips to get your cockpit ready to rip. Rule one, never ever cut your bars because you may change your riding style based on what websites say. Most handlebars, like these Raceface Atlas 35 bars, are designed to be cut down for a perfect fit. It's simple, if you are an XC rider, slide your grips all the way in. If you're a DH rider, slide them out to the ends. If you ride enduro, they go in the middle. Handlebar widths between 740 and 780 millimeters will give you enough leverage to keep the wheel tracking straight in the rocks. Bar roll is easy to figure out because there are only two options. XC riders need the bars and levers and stuff rolled all the way forward to make climbing easiest. DH riders need everything rolled back to keep weight off the front tire for dropping into those steep ladder bridges. Clamp the bars down in the stem so that they just barely rise when viewed from the side. Finally, the most important rule is to make sure every bolt is as tight as possible. Don't believe the marketing by companies with those torque specs printed on the products. They're just marketing the latest gimmicks with all that stuff. The tighter the better. It's best when you tighten the bolt super tight and then you feel the bolt break free. Torque the stem faceplate down with a torque wrench to the manufacturer's specification in a crisscross pattern, slowly adding torque with each pass around the stem's faceplate. With modern disc brakes, one finger is plenty to get you stopped. Set up your levers so that your braking finger rests next to the upturned end. Brake levers are generally best when set up at around a 45 degree angle relative to the ground. If they're too high, they're hard to reach when you're over the front end of the bike. Too low, and you'll have a hard time getting your weight back on steep sections of trail and on drops. Set up your shifter so that it can be used without moving your hand on the grip. Check back next month for more tips from Art Cyclery and Vital MTB.